The battle between Android and iOS has been getting more and more intense, but one way that Android wins easily over iOS is the level of customization you can achieve on an Android device. Have you ever failed? Are you listening? Damn. Due to this, most Android phone manufacturers like Huawei, Samsung, Google, etc. have developed their own versions of the Android interface. However, it is not compulsory to use the home screen launcher, which comes with your Android device. You can install a custom launcher. There are many custom launchers you can install on your device. But today we are going to look at how to install a custom minimal Android launcher. There are many reasons why you should consider installing a minimal Android launcher and not just any custom launcher. Most launchers make it very difficult to find the app you are looking for which wastes so much time looking through so many apps in the app drawer, searching for the app you want. If your app drawer has a search feature, that cuts down on some of the time you spend in looking for your app. That is where getting a minimal Android launcher comes in handy. Today we are going to walk through the process of installing a minimal Android launcher and the benefits of having one. We are going to use a minimal launcher called a decluttered launcher. This launcher is still in beta stage and because of that, it has a bug which I would show later. So make sure you watch till the end of this video if you are deciding to get this launcher and to make an informed decision if this is right for you or not. Once you download and install the launcher, you have to make it the default home screen launcher. The home screen changes drastically from the default Android One UI interface that I previously had on my Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus. So now let's look at the features of this minimal launcher. At the top left of the screen, you will see the time and at the top right, you will see the date. The rest of the screen is reserved for your favorite apps. This launcher does not come with icons. It only shows the name of the app. You can click on the select buttons to add your favorite apps to the home screen. The only thing that I don't like about this is the fact that you can only add at most 4 apps to your favorites. This app utilizes swipe gestures on the home screen, which I believe is a very great feature. When you swipe from top to bottom of the screen, you get access to Google search and immediately below the search box, you also see the trending searches of the day. Swiping from bottom to top reveals the app drawer. Here, the apps you have installed are shown in red text and a keyboard is launched at the same time, giving you the ability to search for an app. Now, there's a really cool feature that I love so much about the search feature. Once you begin to search, let's say we are searching for camera, the moment you type CA, it shows all the apps which have CA in it like calculator, calendar, etc. But the moment I type CAM, since there's no other app apart from the camera with that spelling, it automatically launches the camera, which is excellent. This makes finding and launching apps very fast and easy. To show you what swiping left or right does, we would first need to go into the settings. To access the settings of the launcher, you press and hold any blank portion of the home screen for at least two seconds. In the settings, you can change the default launcher choose to show the date, calendar, events, or turn off the date entirely. You also get the option to select which app should be launched when you swipe from right to left or when you swipe from left to right. So, since I am a music lover, I have configured it such that when I swipe from left to right, it launches my music app. You can also select the size of the text displayed. The font sizes available are small, medium, and big. This launcher by default comes in a dark mode. However, you can double tap on the screen at any time to switch to a white mode. Since I installed this launcher, I have been less tempted to pick up my phone and I have discovered that I am more productive and very intentional and purposeful about the things I do with my phone. Apart from that, my battery also lasts longer since the phone display has less work to do rendering colored icons and wallpapers. Now that we have seen all the great stuff about this launcher, I think it's a good time to talk about one flaw I noticed with this launcher. 
If you add an app to your favorites and uninstall the app, the name of the app still remains in your favorites. And when you click on it, the launcher crashes. Even when the name of the app goes away from your favorites, when you still click on the select option, the app still crashes. So essentially, if I had four apps added to my favorites and I uninstalled one app, I would be left with three favorites and then one select option. And when I click on the select option, the app crashes, which means I'm only left with three favorites. So that is a bit of a bummer. I hope this is fixed before they release the final version of the app because this is just a really awesome minimal launcher. I love it. If you like this review, it would mean a lot to me if you press the like button. Oh, and if you are new to my channel, I do app reviews and other entertaining tech reviews every week. So if you like that kind of content, please click on the subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you do not miss the next video. Thanks, Babray.